Oh dear. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching and let me just start with saying that the clip that you just saw before my intro, that was yesterday, that's not in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, no idea how he did it, <laughs> but he fucking ditched it. <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to show you it, basically. So there we go. Right, so anyway, on to today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, at the moment, as you can see, we are stuck in traffic. Uh, we're on the A419, we're going around Swindon at the moment. I'm on my way to Banbury, which is over an hour's drive away. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Without traffic, and we've already got traffic and we're still in Swindon. So it looks like I'm going to be late. I need to be there for quarter to ten. At the moment, sat another saying I'm going to be there at, at quarter past nine. So I've got half an hour leeway. I've deliberately left half an hour's leeway just in case there was traffic. Uh, and there is already, fucking hell. But we've got loads of roads to go down yet. We've got to go down the A419, then we've got to get off and go on the A420 towards Oxford. Um, and then we go to the Oxford Ring Road, and then we go up to the M40, and then Banbury's up there somewhere. So we've got, a, we've got a lot of driving to do, especially if there's going to be traffic all the way there. I'm going to rack up the hours on the driving, even though it's now and 20 minutes away of them stopping and going and stopping and going those count as like minutes even if you just drive for like 30 seconds it can sometimes count as a minute so you can end up racking up time quite quickly what should only take an hour and 20 minutes could take an hour and 45 minutes maybe two hours of driving time when i get to banbury um i've got to tip off what i got i've got wrap on at the moment so i've already said before that's like um it's recycled aggregates so i'll be tipping that off there's my mate pete uh, I'll be tipping that off uh, at Banbury and then I'm getting loaded with tarmac, um, hot fresh tarmac and I will be delivering that to Milton Keynes according to my text. Where are Milton Keynes I do not know. Um, and then I've got to, once I've done a Milton Keynes I've then got to travel all the way back to Quick Lane again which is something like 80 miles uh, and do a load to Summerford Keynes which is just around the corner from where I live which is Aston Keynes. All these Keynes, or Keynes, some people say Keynes. Personally, I say Ashton Keynes, but it's about the same way as Milton Keynes and Summerford Keynes. So yeah, that's the um, the list of jobs we've got to do today. I usually to Banbury, Banbury to Milton Keynes, Milton Keynes to Cricklay, Cricklay to Summerford Keynes, and then I'm done for the day. Depends on how long it takes. I probably need to get a break in before I come back here, but that's... Uh, something we need to cross at a later date and I've just looked at my rear view camera and that van is right up my ass so much so that if I even roll backwards it's gonna hit the van yeah I'm not talking to you so yes that's the uh, the plan for today we've just got to get out of this traffic and then um, we'll be rolling hopefully Right, sit rep. So uh, I'm here in Banbury right now. Uh, just tipped off the wrap, um, but the the plant itself has broken down. So at the moment, I'm just sitting trying to find out what I got to do next. I'm just waiting, um, which is a bit annoying. Someone's beeping their horn. Who's beeping their horn? No things at me. Um, yeah. So uh, the plant itself is breaking down. Broken down. So I just got to wait and see if they can fix it. If they fix it, then I'll be going to Milton Keynes. Uh, if they can't fix it, then I'm gonna have to do something else, but I don't know what yet. It's a bit far to drive from Banbury all the way to Cricklade, empty. I'm not making my boss any money, so I'm trying to get hold of my boss to see if he wants me to do a side run. So it's sort of on the way, and then at least he's making some money while I'm coming back, and then I should be able to make it back to Cricklade for my next run. But no one's answering the phone. <laughs> but never mind. Never mind indeed. Um, just have to wait and find out now. Sit tight and next time you see me, hopefully I'll, I'll have an idea of what I'm doing. Right, new sit rep. So um, I'm still at Banbury um, in the plant. Uh, they've managed to get up and running now. 
I'm not going to Milton Keynes anymore. I'm now going to Bampton, which is um, not far from Oxford. And, and I got what I, well, from what I saw on the computer screen, it looks like two hours of shoot work. So um, that's where I'm going next. I'm hoping they take it all because there's a quarry just around the corner called Ducklington, Gill Mill. In fact, my last video, I went there and uh, there's a chance my boss would want me to go there and do another run back to Chalmix and Swindon again. So um, it's literally like a couple of miles around the corner. It's so close. I've been sent to Gill Mill from here before, from Banbury, which is a good sort of 20 miles. So hopefully do this run in Bampton and then do the uh, Gill Mill to to um, Chalmix and Swindon. That would be good. But again, it's just a waiting game. Every day, pretty much, you get a text saying what you need to do, what needs to be done, and um, it changes. Can't plan anything. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're just waiting now to be loaded and then um, we will be on the road at last. Right, hello everybody, we are back. We are on our way to Bampton, um, more specifically Carla Holmes. This is the roundabout that I got beeped at. You can see we go uphill and the junction is still going up a hill. It's such a banked roundabout. Luckily this time I... I'm going left and not right, and I'm not fully loaded, so I get off a little bit quicker. But yeah, that's where I got beeped at in the last video. It's a horrible roundabout. I just spoke to the guys <coughs> on the site, and apparently they might be putting traffic lights on it, which would be good. So yes, anyway, we've, uh, we've been here quite a while, to be honest with you. I was here at about half past nine, and now it's quarter to twelve. <laughs> I've been here the whole time, which is a bit rubbish. My boss has been paid for it though. I made sure they got, uh, I made sure they paid me waiting time because I was supposed to be here for quarter to 10, which I was, and I've been here ever since waiting. So they got to pay for it. That's money my boss is losing because I could be going and doing other runs. But yeah, they got themselves up and running in the end. Um, and we're not going to Milton Keynes like I was supposed to do. And I'm not going back to Cricklaid to go to Summerford Keynes because I won't have time. <coughs> we're um, going to this place we're going to now, Bampton, Carla Homes, so it's a house building site. I'm pretty sure that I've actually been here before. We've got this dickhead here which is overtaking me, he's probably going to get in the next lane. No, I thought he was going to go left then. I'm indicating right and you go, quite often on this bit you get cars trying to overtake you just to get in on the left. I have to be in this lane to go where I need to get to, onto the M40. Anything coming? Nope, all good. So yeah, we're, uh, we're going to Carla Homes in Bampton and I don't know why, it just rings a bell like I think I've been here before. I, recognize, I don't recognise, or I can't image, can't picture in my head right now where it is, but when I get close to it I'm sure I will. And uh, we're down for two hours shoot work. Yeah. So we're going to get there for about quarter to one. Two hours shoot work is quarter to three. Hour drive back is quarter to four. So, um, yeah, hopefully they don't hang around because I'd like to get back by four o'clock. So, yes, that's the. Um, that's the plan at the moment then, an hour drive there, give or take, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of waiting around today, just like there was yesterday as well. I was going to vlog yesterday, but um, I didn't in the end because the, I pretty much did nothing. If, if you read my blog yesterday, you'd, you'd know I'm just a lot of sitting around, more than today. But anyway, we are on our way, and hopefully there'll be something interesting to film when we're there to make this video a little bit longer. I'll see you on the other side. Right, hello guys. We're um, just a couple of miles away from where we need to be and I can tell you that I do know where I'm going now just by the roads I'm going down. There is, um, I'm going to a place called Carla Homes and I just put a postcode in and I'm just going. And I know there's a Carla Homes just around the corner, about two miles away. So I'm 100% confident that that is where I'm going and I've been there before. Which is, uh, which is good, because now I know where it is exactly where I'm actually going to be going, so can't moan at that. These houses here on the left, they look 
posh as fuck. Like, they're literally the poshest houses I think I've ever seen. It's like a... Inside, it's just got all sorts. It's like a little area that they built. Not like just one house, they built like a communal area. In the village of Aston. I'm not sure if you can actually really see on the dash cam, but like, it looks posh as fuck. Posh as fuck. Anyway, uh, there is a weight limit where we're going. We actually enter the weight limit and then we make an immediate right hand turn. There's no other way. Um, if we come through the other way, we're in the weight limit a lot longer, so we have to go through the weight limit. This village we're about to go through now is um, quite a small area as well, so I've got to be careful going down here, especially like with all these cars. Yeah, budge over, mate. Thank you kindly. Yeah, it's like one of these like little annoying triangle things here. I can't, I can't get out if I turn down there. So I've got to do this one. The only problem with doing this one is then I've got a blind spot. Look now, there is a van coming which is annoying because now I've got to swerve all the way around just to see. And now I've got to do this. Okay, I can't see the fuck all, so I've got to reverse. I still am going right, but now I can see nothing coming. Easy peasy, lemon squizzy. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've got to stop now so I can put my seatbelt on properly. I can't just drive and do that. Right. Off we go. So yeah, as I was saying, this village is a little bit tight, you've got to be a bit careful going through this village, there's a lot of blind spots. I couldn't see out the left, so I had to do that little bit of manoeuvring just so I could see. There was, nothing came, I could have just pulled out, but I personally, I don't want to take that risk. I'd rather leave a junction knowing there's nothing coming on the left hand side. So as far as I'm concerned, I did everything by the book there, and I had to take my seatbelt off so I can lean forward and have a good look. Just annoying I've got to stop again to put the seatbelt back on properly. Anyway, I once had a bus come fucking flying around this corner and nearly took my wing mirror off because it was on my side of the road. It wasn't even a big bus, it's one of those little buses that go around villages. Speedy he was. We're only a mile away now from where we need to be, which is good. Not far away. The first time I've come here, was um, I was actually operating out of the Banbury plant and I came here and the sat nav doesn't actually take you to the site it takes you to the area but it runs you along a road down the side of the site and you'll see in a second if it's still the same this is the way to get into the site you've got to go down a, a single track road and in a lorry you don't want to be doing that unless you know that's how you get in. I think since they've made it quite clear that that's how you get into the site. But it wasn't that clear when I first come here. And like I said, it, sites, they change all the time. Like the last time you go to a place it could be just like small holes in the ground. And the second time you go to the site it's bloody three storey, four building, uh, three, three or four storey houses that are built up. So, um, yeah, housing projects, they do change quite quickly. Even though I know roughly in my head what the layout is of this site, it could be completely different now. So like I said, I used to go down a, a single track road and then um, turn left. I'm assuming that's still the way in, but we'll find out. This is the weight limit. Just after this chicane. So yeah, two circles saying weight limit, but it says except for access, and guess what? I need access. 
You, you can always tell if there's a site nearby by looking at the road. If the road's dirty, it generally means it's because construction traffic go up and down it. But they still got signs out saying no stopping because this road's quite tight, it's hard to get two lorries through at the same time. So they tell you not to stop. They got these traffic lights here, they weren't here before. There's a tarmac lorry coming down, which is not good. Bumps. I'm gonna have to budge over to let him out. Because where he's coming out of, I need to go down. That looks slippery. Jack? Yeah. Friend Dad, you know where you're going? No. Just go in there. Come, look I come in. Yeah. Follow it round to the yeah. left. You've got a sharp right. Just face them houses over there. There's two blocks in the road. Two packs of blocks. Turn right there and go straight down. You're on the left hand side. All right. Cheers, mate. Right. Thank you very much. Right. I didn't get all of that. Anyway, I can't go yet because now it's a red light again. Let's just get off the curb. But I've been to the site before, I just uh, haven't been recently. But yeah, this is the single track road. Oh, we've got to go down. Now we're going to try and find them. Like trying to find a needle in a bloody haystack. Oh yeah, these houses are a lot bigger than what they were when I last done. And this wasn't tarmac either, it was all gravel. Um, what I like doing is just keep driving until I find them. Who was it? RDS Construction. He said something about following it around to the left, which is down here, and then doing a sharp right. So that's what I do. In the meantime, I need to try and find him as well. Where could they be? I think it's down here. I'm pretty sure he said bare left and then sharp right. This looks like it could be a sharp right. Blocks in the road, which would be them. And then somewhere on the left. Go away. I was literally missing it by millimetres. So far it sounds like what you said, and then go down here and then on the left. Not down there. Oh, there we go. Yep, we found them. Looks like pavements and he's doing.
That guy in orange works for RDS. Right, so now what I need to do is go and uh, make an acquaintance with him and find out where they want me and tell him what I've got and all that. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back with you with an update soon. Right, so we, um, we're still at this site on Bampton. We've not been here that long, to be honest with you. What time, what time did I put down? I got here. Uh, we got here at quarter to one. Um, and it's uh, nearly quarter to two now. So we've been here an hour. And paperwork says two hours sheet work. But actually, they're getting through it really quickly. In fact, I don't think I'm going to be here much longer. Maybe another 20 minutes, if that. I think they're getting it done. Just checking my mirror to make sure... They're not talking to me. Yeah, they are. They want me to move forward. Moving forward a little bit. Wanted to move forward quite a bit. Yeah, um, don't think we're going to be much longer at all, so uh, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. Drive straight home, about 41 miles away from home. What's the sat down saying? Yeah, 44 miles, so I wouldn't fire off. Um, so should be back by 3 o'clock if we left now. Obviously, we're not leaving right now, so hopefully it'll be uh, a nice little finish today, which is good. And then uh, go home. And I need to edit uh, my last video because although you guys have already seen the last video I, at the time of recording this one, I haven't actually edited it yet. So I need to get on and do that quickly. And then this video will be up a few days after. Right. Right, so the situation now is we're just reversing on our way out. I mean, I'm not 100% sure of the way out. I can't remember. <laughs> so we'll just take it as it goes. One thing about this job is that you do a lot of reversing, so you get quite confident in reversing. It's not hard for me. He says. Well, I've come that way, so... If I can turn left here, so we have that digger to get out of the way. If I can turn left here, I'll be facing the right way. But it is quite tight. And there's a car there as well. But that was excellently done, if I do say so myself. i just got to try and get out of this tight gap now. It might have actually been easier, yeah. It's going to be easier if I reverse straight back and then turn right. Rather than turn left and then go straight on, we're going to go straight back and then turn right. Like that. And then we're going to turn right. I just want to go back enough so I get enough of a swing. There we go. Right, so that's the hardest bit done. We've got to find a way out now, which I'm pretty sure is down here. That's the thing about sites, like sometimes you can get in a piece of piss, but it's a bit harder to get out. 
but it wasn't too bad. I've had a lot worse. Believe me. Right, anyway, so um, we're now done. We're on the way back to the yard now. ETA back at the yard is half past three. So, uh, I mean, all in all, it's not been a bad day, to be honest with you. Not worked too hard, but not been too easy either. I've done a couple of jobs. <laughs> Just want to get out of this site. Looks like I've got to follow the roller all the way, though. Bit of a blind corner this as well, can't really see much, so hopefully if anyone does come they give way. I can't see anyone, that's good. Right, so that's um that's the day done. I've got no idea how long this video is. Part of me thinks it's not very long because I haven't done many drops, I've only done two drops. And um you haven't really seen much. But unfortunately, that's just the way it is today. Next video, um, hopefully you see a lot more again. Camera on the back and all sorts. But um, yeah, there was nothing really to see today. The first drop I couldn't film in the back because it was um, the company I worked for, I was delivering to one of their sites. So um, I've been told I'm not allowed to film on their sites. So I couldn't film that one. And then this one, there's no point filming it because it was, it was shoot work. So um, you, there's nothing to see. <laughs> So, um, yeah, unfortunately there was nothing on the um, outside today. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video nonetheless. Don't forget to check out my uh, webpage, lukecnhtv.co.uk, for daily blogs. Although um, today I have not done a blog. Yesterday I'd done a blog which, when I said I wasn't going to do one, but um, I did do one in the end. But today I haven't done a blog. It's just a day off on the blogs today because I want to get home and edit all these videos <laughs> rather than writing the blogs up. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for everybody who's watched this video. Um, if you haven't watched this video then obviously, well you have because you're watching it now. So that's a bit silly. <laughs> but yeah, thank you everyone uh, who has watched the video. Um, feel free to comment, like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook page and also my web page as well. Luke and HDV facebook.com forward slash Lucy and HTV or www.lucyandhtv.co.uk if you understood what I said then because I am talking very fast for some reason I have no idea where are. thank you very much guys <laughs> and, uh, until next time drive safe goodbye